Hey, y'all. I'm just drinking my juice. Y'all know I be juicing. I'm having a hard time tonight, y'all. You know, we're going to make some meatball subs. Hey, honey. Welcome to the channel. Okay, y'all. Hi, I'm doing fun. How are you doing? So, I am back in Virginia Beach. Y'all know I float between Virginia Beach, where I work, and I also have a home in Raleigh. So, I tend, not Raleigh, dorm, the Raleigh dorm area. So, I'm back in um, Virginia Beach. And tonight is not going to be our traditional cooking show. Can y'all please thumbs up as you come into the building? As you come in, give me a thumbs up. Can I get like three more thumbs up? So tonight we're going to be using um, some meatless options. I'm drinking my green juice. Y'all know I juice twice a day um, in the morning and at night. So um, let me just tell y'all what happened to me today before we start this video. Because I'm feeling real hurt right now. Um, so... Um, I asked my sister now... If I was thick, and y'all, they told me that I wasn't thick no more. That I was never thick. Um, my sister called me pink size, and um, one of my homegirls said that I was a little piece of meat. Um, so I'm in a size nine now, almost a size eight, and people don't think I'm thick no more. My feelings is hurt. But I like being thick. You know, I was thick, but I was shaped like Buddha. And since I've been losing weight, people don't think I'm thick no more. And my feelings just really hurt. But I don't give a damn because I said I'm thick. <laughs> you laughing at me? All caps. I'm thick, y'all. Okay. I know I'm losing weight. Okay. I know I'm going to be a size 6 again real soon. Okay. But I'm still thick. Let me be thick in my own mind. And then my niece. Even my baby, Chloe. When I said Chloe, it's auntie thick. She turned around and patted her ass at me. And said she was thick. Thick, 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 thick. Even the three-year-old said she thicker than me. I'm done with life. Yeah. They just said I ain't thick, but it's okay. So, let's get back to the regular schedule program. But I'm thick, though. I'm thick. Can't y'all see these? I'm thick. I'm thick, y'all. I'm thick. You know, we're going to eat this vegan meatball sub. Ain't got that many calories, though. So, maybe I'm not as thick as I think I am, y'all. Who I'm still thick. Now what? Say something. Do something about it. I know. I'm trying. Maybe I'm thick. Y'all see me. Better for the look, man. Okay, I 
I used to like being thick, but see, there's this thing called type 2 diabetes. And um, me being plush with my ancestry did not help me. Um, it just didn't work out for me, like most black women when they're thick. Um, my Asian genes kicked in, and I didn't get no fat in my butt. It went to my stomach and my face. So I looked like Buddha, but I was cute. And, um... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just didn't work out for me. And I ended up with type 2 diabetes. So I had to lose weight. And then I gained the weight back. But type 2 diabetes didn't come back. But I got afraid. So then I was like, you know what? It's time to just clean up your life, sis. So yeah, that's what happened. Alright, so what we're going to be using tonight to do the meatless meatballs. Like, I used these for the first time right here. and um, Not right here. But I used these last week because I wanted to try them out before I even mentioned them to you guys. I know that there are not a lot of places where you can find um wagmans but if you live in the south east um once you get past virginia you can find wagmans so these are a meatless option and i would recommend that you guys try these so like if you want to do like meatless monday meatless whatever day meatless friday how somebody do y'all these meatballs are so good when i was eating them i was low-key confused because they taste like the same meatballs that you can get when you go to the Wawa's. Now, I know if you live in the South, you don't know what the Wawa's was. I didn't know nothing about the damn Wawa's until the first time I crossed the bridge to go into Jersey. And I figured out what the Wawa's was, and I was hooked. But these meatballs taste low-key like the same meatballs you get from the Wawa's. So, if you live in this area and you were catching this live, if you want to make a sub that tastes like the sub at the Wawa's, honey, this is what you need right here. This is a dupe. Okay, this is not a flop, and I'm not saying that. They really do taste like meat. So, we got some hoagie rolls. Like I said, I'm plant-based. I'm not really strict about bread and stuff like that. But, those are the rolls that I use. And we have some shredded mozzarella vegan cheese. This cheese is actually really good. Um, and it melts really good. That's the same cheese I use to make the pizza with. Now, if you guys want to see a meatball sub video from scratch with, like, the pork and the beef and all of that y'all let me know and i'll do a full another video and make baby free to some meatballs so but this is just like a quick easy meal you can even find meatballs in the frozen section that are not plant-based and do this for your kids and make a meatball sub say if it's game night you know games going on and everything so um so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some meatballs you're gonna need a bell pepper and an onion because we're going to use these to like put on the stuff. You're going to need one can of tomato sauce. I use this one. I have some. I have no fresh fresh veggies or nothing. Uh, I need to go grocery shopping. So I have some basil, parsley. I have some Italian seasoning. Post my cash app. Okay, hold on. I'm going to tell y'all what it is. Uh, garlic powder. I got two garlic powders. Oh! onion powder and some Lori seasoning salt okay so y'all want to know my cash app it's octavia millhouse o c t a v i a m i l h o u s e that's my cash app all together and you all see my pic my pic my picture pop up so i just want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers she asked me to not mention her name but y'all she bought me this new stand and had it sent to me at amazon and this subscriber is low-key a friend she's not just a subscriber she's a friend so she can get in contact when we talk a lot or whatever she's my friend you know she's my homie so she sent me this and i just wanted to say thank you girl one l it's one l in my name so yes thank you sis for um getting me this I will be having setting up a post office box when I go back down to Raleigh next week. And we're going to get back to our regular teaching videos live and our regular shoots too. What are you doing, baby? We say hey, baby, Frida. Hey, y'all. It's okay, honey. Most people spell it with one L or two L's. I have sides of my family that were split up during the Reconstruction era. And some of them stayed in South Carolina because the family was split. They were so often split. And some of them remained in South Carolina and some of them remained in Alabama. Same family, same lineage. Sometimes they spell it with two L's, sometimes they spell it with one. It just depends on what side of the South you came from. Know that, right? Our family in South Carolina? You might not know. So She said, hey, Robert. I said, hey, baby, Frida. Hey. 
Hey, Rapper. Back, Rapper. Baby Frida was asking about you, girl. Say hi, Baby Frida. Hey. I got some of my teeth. You got some of your teeth? Baby Frida said I ain't thick. Your daddy thick. I ain't thick. <laughs> He's thicker than you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dirty helpful. She said he thicker than you. She said I love you, baby Frida. All right, y'all. All right, so y'all, we gonna go ahead and flip the camera around so you guys can see what's going on on the pot. Let me back this thing up for a minute. Let me drop it down low. Okay, we're going to have to go to Walmart tomorrow. Because I need some more water. Alright, baby, we can go to Walmart tomorrow. Let me get it situated, y'all. This stand is actually nice. I love it. It's over there, baby, pretty. You got to find it. Yeah, I probably should have learned how to work the stand first. I did try to use it earlier. Hold on, y'all. What did you do? Mind your business. Oh, shit. I'm wasting water. Y'all, hold on. All right. Okay. Here we go. Baby, Frida, what's wrong with you? I'm having a little bit of to rinse. I think you're making fun of me. Well, that's it. Your dad. Okay. He may be. All right, y'all. So now we got it. We got it. We got it. Say, so I need a fork. Well, no, we don't. All right. I learned how to work this iPhone, too. All right, there we go. All right. It's not the stand, y'all. It's me. I'm a little slow. I'm a little touched. All right, so shut up. Your daddy. You said my reason what? All right, keep talking. All right, y'all, so we got to go ahead and put some grapeseed oil because you don't want your meatballs to stick. So I'm going to use about two and a half to three tablespoons. And then all I got to do is swivel it around so y'all can see me cut up the peppers and stuff. I got to get the oven while well, turning the broil on. But it don't take long for them to cook. While they cooking... I'm going to be talking to y'all about some things that we need to get straight. So we'll know what videos y'all want me to be recording. So y'all, these are the meatballs. Show y'all what they look like. Show y'all the bag one more time. And you can just use any meatballs you have. But this is the brand. I love wagons. They be with the shit. So these are what the meatballs look like. No, I don't want to be handcuffed to you. I don't even like you no more. You know how Sal and Willie was handcuffed together? That's because they stupid. No, because Sal is crazy as hell. That's besides the point. No, I don't want to be handcuffed to you. I don't even like you like that no more. Because you said I ain't thick. My own damn husband said, girl, you ain't fit. He just hurt my heart. That's okay. I ain't gonna sit this ass on him. What? Shut up! Baby, free talking about what ass? I asked you. So, y'all, I thought my grease was hot, but it's not. That's okay. All right. What are you trying? The meatballs. Stop 
judging me. Can y'all see the meatballs? Shut up, your daddy. So the meatballs are frying. And we got some hoagie rolls that we're going to toast in this pan over here. So I'm only going to do two subs because it's only me. You know what I'm saying? Shut up, baby freedom. Now I'm going to toast them with some vegan bottom. What is time? Me to my face, helpful. If I didn't love you and care about you, I would like to love you. Not me. All right, y'all. Can y'all see the cutting board? easier too y'all i love this thing she do love me y'all she just pick on me a little bit because i thought i was thick and i was wrong all right so y'all i really love this y'all like how y'all can see what's really going on overhead look at the overhead shot ain't that amazing y'all it's gonna take me a couple uses with this stands but yeah Rinse those seeds out. They look like meatballs. They look like meatballs. They taste really good too, baby. Richard didn't know. He thought they was real meatballs. He was like, can you eat this? I was like, yeah, bro, I can eat it. I can eat it. Oh, are you talking about one for the individuals? Yeah. Daily use? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to roast, um, we're going to toast the, um, turn the broiler on so that the cheese can melt. And I'm going to put bell pepper and onion on top of mine because I like bell pepper and onion on my, um, my meatball stuff. All right, so now we got our peppers all done. So everybody had a good night tonight. My sister really did hurt my feelings. She was like, you ain't thick, sis. I was like, but I'm thick, though. Let's go ahead and open the, um, the tomato sauce. And we're going to go ahead and pour it in before the meatballs start to burn. I'm gonna turn y'all over so y'all can see the stove. 
right there. That's how I probably should have set it up in the first place. Alright, so now. And the last time I used two bags and one can, and that was enough. But that's okay, because I'm probably going to just make some extra spaghetti sauce later, later this week. Grab a spoon. And then we're going to season it. It's going to cook now, y'all. Like I said, last time I did two, um, two bags for one can, and it was okay. Alright, so I am going to add a couple of pieces of bell pepper in there. And I'm going to chop up a couple slices of onion to put in there. Just to give it a little taste. And we're going to add some basil. Some dried parsley flakes. Whatever sauce is left over, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna get some ground, um, ground um, meat and add it in there. Some um, Italian seasonings. <clears throat> that's the dollar store brand, cause that's all I can get to. At the time, a little bit of onion powder. Some garlic powder. And y'all know us black folk won't do nothing. Especially if you're from the South without no seasoning salt. <laughs> and that is all of the seasoning that's going to go in there. I might put some more of those dry herbs in there. So that's going to take about 20 minutes to cook. About 10, 20 minutes. Put the lid on it, turn it on four, and now we're going to go back and chop our onion. Alright, so I like to toast. When I put my cheese on there, it's going to be delicious, Red Bird. It's going to be delicious, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. So we're going to grab our bun. Alright, so we're going to grab our Is on top of that too with that cheese baby don't don't act like you know act like you know i'm about to act up in here tonight mm, i gotta add a little bit of garlic to the um meatballs some minced garlic i'm gonna add them into the meatballs buy the teaspoon so y'all can see. Added it in. I am going to add some more parsley and basil in there. I almost feel like I'm shaking and ain't nothing coming out. Okay, there we go. Just pop the lid off, honey. Just pop the lid off. All right. Cause that's gonna really give it a flavor a good flavor because i didn't have any more um fresh herbs and stuff i gotta go to the store y'all i'm going in the morning so i'll probably be today's tuesday i'll be back on thursday to cook with y'all again because i'm coming i'm not going to be at the house to do anything else but we're going to do some fun cooking videos i might take the leftover meatballs and do a mozzarella meatball pizza. You never know what your girl, you know what I'm saying? Like um, a pasta type pizza. Y'all seen those? When they add the pasta 
On to the pizza. Oh, Lord. Let me put a couple more pieces of onion in there. I got to put this lid back on here, though. Because y'all see it popping? It's pop pop popping. Let's put the lid back on. Because they free to stay. I ain't thick. I know. Shut up, man. You ain't thick, girl. Y'all yeah, hurt my feelings over that shit, though. I'm somebody. I am. I go. Shut up. She said, little booties matter. That's what I'm talking about. I got enough to shake. I ain't going to even like y'all. I can't even twerk. All right. So, now we got our veggies cut up. We're going to toast our bread. Get our bread ready so it can be toasted. When we put the meatballs and the cheese in there. So, we got country crock plant butter. Probably cut it too thick. Because I want it to be thick like me. Baby Frida going to cuss me out, y'all. I don't care. Y'all some haters. Why are you telling me to shut up? Y'all hear how she don't show me no love? sprinkle a little Italian herb on that cheek on that butter though you know what I'm saying so that it can you know give it a little flavor mm-hmm child I'll be up in here getting in my life I sure do sure do why they talking about I ain't thick your daddy your dad ain't thick can't say you man because my mama may she rest in peace but your dad ain't thick he got a thick neck he got a long thick neck. I don't even like you no more, baby. Fruit. Shut up. She gonna cuss me out, lady y'all. All right. Now. <clears throat> All right. So now we back and we just waiting on the meatballs to get done. Um, so yeah. I'm still trying to learn how to work this thing, y'all. Alright, so yeah. So now we just waiting on the meatballs to get done. They don't take that long. I like for them to break up a little bit so that a little bit of the, the um, meat breaks down in the sauce. And it's already starting to do that. So we're going to give it about a good 10 minutes. So I see that a lot of people have joined the channel. And I want to say thank y'all so much for joining. Hopefully we can get to 15,000 very, very soon. And then I'm going to do a giveaway. And I always do really good giveaways. I'm going to do one anyway soon. But um, I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, I'm thinking maybe two or three. I'm not sure. I'll usually do two small ones and one big one. Um, cause I didn't get to do the back to school giveaway this year to one of the teachers. I always try to do back to school, but I didn't get a chance to do it this year. So we're going to make up for that too. But, um, yeah, I see a lot of people have been watching that. I don't know what it is about that lemon pound cake video, but it's kind of like it went viral again. I won't say viral. Okay. I won't say viral. I'll just say that YouTube pushed it a lot during the holidays yes no brother they don't sell them in alabama they came from a store called wagons 
excuse me um a store here um that's called wagman's it's like um whole foods but better um it's way better than whole foods they have their own brand of organic dairy free gluten free um it's just it's they, their store brand tastes better than some brands it's like a high-end store that you find in the northeast they used to didn't go past i think somebody said um they didn't used to go past like jersey or something but now they all up and down the, the east coast um, you can't find them in South Carolina, I don't think, but you can find them in Raleigh. I don't know if you can find them in the Charlotte area, but you can find it in like Raleigh. They got one in Raleigh and one in Dorm. So, yes, y'all, I'm back to juicing. Um, I try to consume 70% of my food throughout the day is raw and juiced. Um, I haven't been able to work out like I wanted to, but I'm still losing weight because it's all diet. I'm really sticking to plant-based. Um, and it's working. Um, that's how I lost the weight plus the exercising. But diet is the most important part. But I'm not trying to like, I, this is how I'm really supposed to eat. And this is how I was eating when I was maintaining my weight and I was looking healthy. I wouldn't have no break. I think it's going to take me another month or two before my body really even gets back to where it's supposed to be. Not just in weight wise, but just like my skin and everything with the breakouts and stuff that come and go. Um, Because I'm truly one of those people I just cannot tolerate. <laughs> I can't tolerate dairy at all. I could never tolerate dairy. Um, I really can't tolerate beef, especially like ground beef and stuff like that. So I know it's going to be a little bit of time before my body is back to normal because I took my body down through there after getting fighting all that way to get back healthy. But I'm okay. Um, I'm okay because now I know what I'm supposed to be doing and... It's not a diet because it's a it's just how I eat. I don't say it's a diet anymore because that's how I eat. I don't I'm not doing it to just lose weight and then stop. I really can't function without it. Like I get headaches, my vertigo comes back, I get cranky, wanky. Um, so animal products, they just have a a negative effect on me. I wish I could eat a steak. Y'all don't know, y'all ever seen them videos where I used to do them steaks and potatoes in the little teeny thing? And the shrimp, y'all. I'ma still do videos like that. Don't don't fret. Don't fret. And I'll still taste stuff. Like I'll have a bite or something. Um, but because I'm not vegan, I'm plant-based. And I you have to taste your food. And I'm in catering. I'm getting back into catering, so I have to know what the food tastes like. But I'm not gonna be eating it, like eating it. I'm e eating for taste just to make sure what I'm serving people is correct. Um do I think everybody should be plant-based or vegan? Hell no. If you don't have to and you don't want to and it's not for health issues or just because, you know, eat what you don't eat, eat in moderation and still try to eat a healthy, clean diet because you can still eat clean, eat healthy, and eat meat. Some people can tolerate dairy. Some people can't. You just got to know what kind of dairy you eat and what you put into your body. So I'm not a tree hugger. So that's why I don't even like to say the word vegan. I'm plant-based. Because I eat honey. Like, some vegans don't even eat honey. I eat honey because it's natural. It's a natural sugar. It doesn't make your blood or your glucose levels crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, huh, what you want from me? Huh? What you want? What y'all really want from me? Can I say that? I probably can't. But y'all, I still, I still stuck. Because, um... You know, somebody told me the other day that I was a small piece of meat. I was really offended. Because I don't think I'm a small piece of meat. I think I'm thick. So I was like, no, that was like you're a small piece of meat. I was like, you know, the most expensive cut of beef at the at the steakhouse is for like me young, honey. So I'm small, tiny, tasty, and juicy. And expensive, bitch. Now what? tiny piece of meat my ass tell your mama that call me tiny i know i'm five feet lie okay i'm more like four twelve four eleven five feet i'm five feet damn it okay 
on a good day. I know I'm short, okay? I got little feet and little hands, okay? And a big head. And big teeth. But a small mouth. With a big heart. But you ain't got to tell me, fuck, I'm short. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell me I'm short. I know I'm short. I know. Is your mammy short? I mean, that's what I be like. Oh, people like, oh my God, you're so short. I would be like, oh my God. I know I'm short, but what about you? Who? Is your mammy short? I, I know. I just, I hate when people make short jokes. They be like, <laughs> you're so short, you can't reach it. No, can your mammy reach it? Don't make short jokes, okay? I know I'm short. Just like when people tall, they know they tall. You know what I'm saying? And don't reach over my damn head in the grocery store. Because you taller than me. What's that about? You know what I'm saying? I'm real offended right now, y'all. Can't y'all tell I'm offended? I've been getting called short and tiny all week. Like, damn. Damn. Girl, I like that. So, yes, you know, I know I'm short. I mean, damn, look at me. You know, I can't even reach the top cabinet. I mean, this refrigerator is low, so I can reach on the top of it. It makes me feel tall, but don't tell me I'm short. Shit. Shut up. Even my own sister wear me out. Terrible. That's okay though, cause good things come in small packages. Mm -hmm. That's what I be trying to tell these ragamuffins. But you know, let me tell y'all what happened one day. What really made me mad. I think this is the maddest I've ever been in my life being a short person. Okay? I cannot understand like how disrespectful some people is. And... So, that's why I was saying, don't reach over short people in the store. So, I'm in the store one day, and this mother reached over my head, and he was cute. He was fine. I would have gave him some play, but he was rude and disrespectful, okay? He gonna reach over my head and grab what he want. He's like, uh, Ma, you need me to grab that for you? And I was like, sure, grab it for me, okay? You're taller. I'm um, down here, you're up there, grab it for me. So, you know what he do? He grab it, and then he was like, oh, you cute. That mother pat me on my head. I was like, bro, don't pat me on my head. He was like, oh, you so tiny and cute. <laughs> Can I get your number? I said, hell no. You can't get my number. You pat me on the head like I'm a puppy. Uh-uh, hell no. Nah. Pat me on my damn head. Yeah, he gave me the barbecue sauce, but he pat me on my damn head. I ain't giving you my phone number. Your mother sucker. Your mother sucker. Pat me on my head. I know I'm short. I mean, even at work. <laughs> even at work, y'all. I have to get the ladder. I keep the ladder with me at work. Because everything's up so high. You know, so I just keep the ladder with me. I drag a ladder all over the damn store most of the time. Especially when I'm straightening up stuff. And I know I can't reach it. I keep a ladder. I just, I take a ladder with me. I have step stools throughout the house, you know. And that's, you know, the bad part about, I'm not even the shortest person in my family. We got some people in my family that's 4'11 and 4'10. Sure do. I mean, what you expect? What did you expect? Okay, my dad is short. He half Asian, half black. <laughs> my mom was only 4'11". <laughs> I was going to be short anyway. But I'm still thick. Hopefully, I'll be past this thick obsession by the end of the week. Damn it. Let me wash my hands. I'm trying, y'all. You know... But all BS to the side, the camera does add 10 to 15 pounds. And when y'all be seeing me in public at work, <laughs> y'all be like, you so little. I don't know. 
You ain't gotta tell me. I know I'm little. All right, y'all. It's time to turn the sauce off. We're gonna turn the broiler on. Get the paper towel, wash my hands, dry my hands off. All right. Oh, you like the lemon peel cake? It was good when I put my foot in that recipe. Then it's my grandmama's. It's my grandmama's. She did it. Thank you, Charity. Tell us, tell us, thank you. Um. <laughs> So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get the meatballs. Let's turn the thing around so y'all can see. The meatballs are done. Didn't take that long. See how thick that sauce is? I'm gonna use this. Would y'all like to see me make a pizza tomorrow? A meatballs pizza tomorrow night? Tell me yes. If I get three yeses, we'll do it. All right. So, let's go ahead. Let me flip everything around. And we're gonna put four meatballs on each one. And some sauce. And a little bit of sauce. And it's actually enough in here to make three subs. All right. So we're going to put some um, of the pepperoni. Because I have some and I actually need to use it before it goes bad. So we're going to put some pepperonis on there. Cause these pepperonis are actually good they actually taste like pepperoni to me some of this stuff y'all like the old school stuff i can't mess with but some of this stuff that these new people new age plant-based people then came out with it be thumping low-key so i'll save the rest of these and tomorrow if you guys would like we'll do a video so we're gonna put some peppers on there My hair, y'all. Some onions. Why is my hair? Y'all, this is my food. Don't judge me. Nobody's eating this. When I cook, I usually use a hairnet when it's for other people. Jesus Christ. I'm so disgusted with myself. And I just wash my hands. So we're gonna have some pizza tomorrow because we got some stuff left over. And just put one more right there. All right, so we got our vegan cheese. And we're gonna stick it in the oven. All right. So I got some stuff to clean up. All right. 
meatball sauce everywhere. Jesus Christ. So, turn you guys back around so y'all can see my lovely face. And we're just waiting for those to get done. The meatballs. So, yeah. It's been crazy around here. You know, I be having fun, y'all. I like my job, though. I do. I like my job. I like the people I work with. I've made some friends, which is really not, you know, normal. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you guys are here, y'all. I had to take a break, y'all. <laughs> I had to take a break from the channel. I just had to take a break, like, for a little bit. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm crooked. All right. I'm back. And I'm happy to be back. Um, you know, life happens, man. And sometimes you don't have control over things. And you just kind of need to step away. And that's what I did. Uh, so, yeah. The meatballs are almost done. They're melting. The cheese is melting. Mmm. -hmm. take a little bit because it's vegan cheese but yeah so i had to take a little break but i'm back and i'm not gonna abandon y'all i know i was like dang how many days has it been since i've been on i was thinking like oh man since i got back yeah so i didn't abandon y'all i was just trying to get my life together i i'm trying to get used to this iphone too y'all i was an android user I know that may offend some people, whatever, but I switched. Y'all see my lace tipping? My, my channel, my, my lace is tipping. Chat. As I was saying, as I was saying, you know, I had to get my life together. And now I'm back. Yeah. I'm back. And I'm thick. She thick. She thick, 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 thick. I'm not thick. I'm not. But no, y'all, I'm a very, even at my heaviest, people still thought I was small. Nobody believes me when I tell them my weight. Nobody believes them when I tell them my, they, they believe me when I tell them my height. But nobody believes me when I tell them my height. I mean, my weight or my age. Or nothing so yeah I'm really 36 most people don't believe it mm -hmm. yeah 36 and I'm short I'm never gonna grow yeah I'll grow out or in but I won't go up you know what I'm saying I feel like Kevin Hart you know oh I gotta get it out break don't burn before the cheese melts all the way all right. Oh, my toast burnt. It's burnt a little bit on the edge. Dang. That's okay. I burnt the bread a little bit, y'all. Okay. That's cool. Trial and error. It's still going to be tasty, though. All right. It's a little toasty. What I'll do to melt the cheese, I'm going to pop it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. It always melts better in the microwave for some reason. So let me pop it in for 10 seconds so that it can melt a little bit more. Baby Pretty got this Stone Age oven. melted now all right all right so here's the sandwich it's melted it got a little toasty on the other side but here it is and 
I'm going to cut it a little piece off. I got to let it cool a little bit, y'all. Ooh. I got to blow it. Okay, so question. And I need three yeses. And if I, no, four. If I get four yeses, when I get back down to North Carolina, would you guys, because I already have a video up on how to do a meatball sub, but it was like an old, 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 old video. And it was so long because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> the video is just bad. So if I get four yeses, when I get back down to North Carolina, I will do a meatball video meatball sub video i'm talking about a big sub with like the ground pork the beef i'll make the sauce like everything if you guys want to see that video give me four thumbs up and i will do a regular meatball sub yes please that's one i need three more ouch hot yes that's two two more and I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to get the mozzarella cheese and everything. Like, we're going to do it, do it. If I get two more. I only got two, so I need two more yeses. And then we're going to do the video. That's one and yes. Okay, two, one more. Mmm. That's four. Let me sure. Yes. Okay, we got it. So we're gonna do a traditional meatball Italian style sub. I'm gonna do a whole video because we got Wi-Fi now. And I'm gonna record it and we're gonna do it. I'm gonna get all pretty too. Hmm. Y'all, oh, this thing good. Look at that meatball. I'm telling y'all, if you live up here in Virginia Beach and you want a sub, a meatball sub, <laughs> if you live anywhere near the Wawa's, you know they got they meatball sub. No. You know how I'm soon. But we got this. Mm. Oh, it's so good, y'all. I'm I'm, I got you, Robert. You want to see the chicken and rice? Oh, so y'all want to see me do a recorded video of the chicken and rice? The chicken and rice in the oven? Because that's the short version of it. But I got a version of it that'll knock your socks off. It's, it's a little bit more intricate. But if y'all want to see that, we can do that one too. We'll do that. Those will be the first two recorded videos. We do. And it will be instructional based and it'll show you I'll have precise measurements and everything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I got y'all. And then I still got to do a plant-based video. Two. But yeah, oh, that was so good. Oh, that was banging. Mmm, let me cut me another piece. 
that thing this thing is good and that pepperoni on there too oh that was a good idea that was a good come up honey think quick on your feet y'all want to know something about me i got little feet too <laughs> i wear a size six sometimes a six and a half i got tiny feet I can wear kid shoes. It's hot, y'all. All right, I got you. Ow. I don't want to lose my meatball. Um. Come on, meatball. Stop sliding around. Hmm. That is good. Mm. Piece of bell pepper. Oh, that is so good. And it didn't take that long to cook. Now, if you want to do a quick, easy meal for your kids, you can do this. Mmm. 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 Baby, what you mean, they gonna see your booty. Oh, but they can't see you. Stay over there. Baby, free to be in a camera thought. Mm. 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 What kind of chips, baby, for them? What kind do I have? All of the chips. Want well, the barbecue? Yeah, that one on top. This one? No. This one? Yeah. Made free to love chips, y'all. We're going to set up a fun car, fun the chip for baby freedom. She is a chip connoisseur. She has eaten every chip in, in she can think of. delicious mm. so y'all ain't gonna tell me i got nothing on my face so y'all gonna just let me so y'all just gonna let me just keep that on my face that little toasted piece off a little bit too much toast it toast a little too hard baby do you like philly cheese steak you like philly cheese steak i said do you like philly cheese steak yeah mm. oh this is good I'd be all dramatic though. I mean, is this bread gonna make me think? <laughs> Ooh, shall let me stop. Little booty matters too. See, y'all better be lucky. I got a man. Because this little dude booty right here you know, i ain't gonna do it i ain't no homework i want the homework when i had a man let me stop loud because honey i don't want nobody man <laughs> i don't want mine sometimes and i think every wife feel like that i mean we be wanting y'all but can i get an amen Mm. 
pack pre-made meatballs, one can of spaghetti sauce, some garlic powder, onion powder, some Italian seasoning, some uh, parsley, some cilantro, some cheese, bell pepper, onion, and pepperoni, and some um, hoagie rolls. But hold on, baby, because I'm leaving here Saturday to go back to North Carolina. So Sunday is game day. So Sunday morning, I'm going to get up and record the sub video. And I'm going to have it up for y'all Tuesday. Sunday morning, I'm getting up. And I am recording that video for y'all. And it'll be up on Tuesday. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to do the chicken and rice, the baked chicken and rice video for y'all. I'm going to measure everything out because usually I be eyeballing it. <laughs> I'm going to measure everything out. And we're going to do that. And then we're going to do a run to the H mark. Y'all know it's time to go to the H mark. We're going to do a $10 video. Yes. We need a $10 video, y'all. What do y'all want to see me cook for $10? The chicken and rice. The chicken and rice video, baby. $10. I'm taking y'all. I'm going to do a live shopping haul for the chicken and rice video. So y'all going to see me shop and get everything for the chicken and rice video for under $10. Okay? Okay? And then I'm going to do a recorded video of the chicken and rice making the chicken and rice for y'all so i can lay it out so that's our ten dollar video for next week so we're gonna be lit because i got a whole week in raleigh almost so we're gonna do the shopping trip for ten dollars for that and that's gonna be our ten dollar budget video and then we're gonna do the recorded video so yeah y'all be ready because y'all know i'm gonna say i'm gonna be i'm gonna be out for the front like i did the last and i'm gonna be like hey we at h mark Chicken and rice video, $10, sis. So, whatever ingredients you have in the house, so I have to see what I have in the house. I usually have all veggies in there. I usually keep bell pepper, onion, and celery in the house. So, I know I ain't going to have to buy none of that. I might have to buy bell pepper to go with. Shit. But that's okay. That's okay. But, yes, the chicken and the rice, the stock, we're going to do it. We is going to do it. Do it. Just do it, do do it. I got y'all the ten dollar video, baby. One pan meal, and that is a one pan meal. So y'all get ready to see a lot of those videos, whether it's vegan, plant based, vegetarian, or it's a whole meat dish. We're gonna do a ten dollar meal, one pan or one pot. Mm hmm. It's gonna be popping. I'm gonna have to get real creative, y'all, cause I think y'all like the ten dollar video. But yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. $10 video, one pot, one pan, chicken and rice. Because times is hard out here, y'all. It's hard out here for a lot of people. I hope they send this money out for these people. Like, everybody going to get it. But for the people who really need it, I hope they get that money and they get them some type of release. Because I know some people that's, like, really out here struggling. Like, real talk. If you ain't out here struggling, thank God. Because there's some people who was already living on a poverty line. This whole situation has just knocked them out. So, say your prayers. And be thankful for what you have before you be missing what you got. That's all I got to say. But anyway, y'all, I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. We've been on here for 65 minutes. <laughs> y'all know once I do this video, I try to eat some of the food so y'all can see it. 
if it's something I can eat. But I love you guys, and I'll be back this week before I go home. And we're gonna do our H Mark trip. Um, let me see. Should I go to the H Mark or should I go somewhere else and do it? I think I'm gonna go to the H Mark. I love the H Mark, y'all. But I know everybody don't have an H Mark in their town. I'm gonna look at some other stores and do be realistic about it because everybody don't have an H Mark. Because I run up an H Mark quick, y'all. <laughs> to do a ten dollar meal, it's for entertainment, but it's also to help people out with stretching a dollar. Because I mean, a big pan of chicken and rice. And it's a family of four. And you do it right. You can eat off that chicken and rice for a day. That'll be a whole meal. And maybe something to take to work for lunch. If you do it right. If you do like wings or legs or thighs. It's a big pan. So yeah. Let me see what I'm going to do. Or I might go to like one of the local mom and pop type grocery stores. You know, they chicken be hella cheap. You can get a whole tray of leg or thighs or leg quarters. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this $10 meal, one pan, one pot, chicken and rice. And I'm going to show y'all how to do it. And we're going to do the shopping trip. Because it was low-key fun the last shopping trip. I had a lot of fun, y'all. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Anyway, I love you guys. Good night. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And you know... That's all I gotta say. And I'm still fit with my little dip. I'ma call Chloe back though. Cause Chloe said I wasn't thick. She was y'all, my niece is cutthroat. I don't like that she act like me. You love the Asian markets too? I thought it was only me. Y'all, I find all the <laughs> It's like my ancestors be talking to me when I go in the Asian market. Let me stop being stupid. <laughs> real, I love going in the Asian market, man. For real, though. I love the Asian market. I'm serious. <laughs> she said you're so funny. I love the Asian market, y'all. I'm telling you. Come through. Let me stop. Um, But one day, maybe. I, I don't know. I might show y'all a picture of my pappy because he looked like Buddha for real. You know he Asian and black. <laughs> Ooh, there is no mix up about his jeans, baby. And the crazy part is he's short, fat, and round like Buddha with a stomach stick out. <laughs> and he keep his damn head ball. <laughs> ah! Let me pat my weed. Let me get my ass off. Let me get my ass off here. Y'all, have a good night. Y'all know I don't like my daddy, so it's easy for me to roast him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, good night, y'all.